What is up everyone, HTG Prime here, and we are back with more LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga! We've moved right along to Episode 2, Chapter 3, The Droid Factory Free Play! We're gonna round up the rest of those gold bricks, all 10 mini kits. We're gonna get that character stud red brick, as well as the true Jedi requirement. Alright, you can see here, we're starting off where we normally do. Here's the Droid Factory, but wait! We've got... Uh, task at hand. We need to purchase the Attract Studs Red Brick. We actually picked that up a couple levels ago and we forgot to do it. So let's go ahead and head back out to the main area of the cantina. Step up to the old bartender here. And then we'll go ahead and scroll through a handful of the old bricks until we get to the stud magnet. Now there are plenty of other red bricks available. If you find that some of them might be useful to you, you are welcome to spend some cash and buy them. I recommend saving your money though until we get the other stud multipliers, then we can go ahead and start spinning our cash on that stuff. Now, hey, quick reminder, we do have quick links down below in the video description as you just saw Thumby come up with the reminder popping up there. And uh, O oh, to the yeah, let's go ahead and make sure we turn this bad boy on too. We got this nice new feature, the stud magnet. We'll go ahead and turn that on. Speaking of turn it on, let's make sure we ring that bell and turn that bell on as well. And of course, choose free play and for Lom as your main character before jumping into the level. Uh, as soon as we start, we're going to turn around and double back. That's right, the old bear method to go ahead and find the first mini kit tucked away nice behind us. Now, the next one's actually going to be up on the right side. There's a couple of little lights right past the third one. There are two little alcoves. Go ahead and sneak into the second one. And booyaka show! We actually have two of the ten mini kits already. Now, I recommend using four llamas. We come down this hallway because you can see we do some pretty good eradication there with those baddies now before we move into the next area let's switch to somebody with double jump could be a jedi could be jar jar you're going to want to quickly jump up to the right as that path moves now you might have to start the level over if you can't quite make that jump it is a bit of a funny angle but it can be done even after that platform has sucked away so uh, we'll go ahead and keep on with the keeping on. And now because we got that Attract Studs red brick, it's actually doing an excellent job of bringing in those studs that are just outside of our reach, but are no longer outside of our reach. They're now inside, which is pretty sweet. We'll take out the droid cut in the middle of these force fields here and then use a bot to go ahead and remove the conveyor belt's uh, added feature. So you can see here, eh, no more ground pounders. But if you jump into it, it still does the same damage. So I highly recommend not doing that. As we keep on with the keeping on, we find ourselves getting attacked by a whole bunch of battle droids. We take those out with one swift ground pound, or butt slam, as we like to call it. Then we got a couple of fans that need some reworking. Now, after getting the second one, or the middle one up, we're going to want to go ahead and use the pathway that happens to be there and use somebody with the voles to go ahead and manipulate that weird little, I guess it's a knob? And then we'll go ahead and spin that whole platform around, giving us access to the grapple plugs. Get up top with somebody like a Stormtrooper or Vader, and in the door we go. Now we got a little mixology going on here, so hopefully uh, you can figure out some color matches here. We've got green we need on the right, as you can see. Your colors may be different, so don't necessarily follow this pattern exactly. However, use the recipes. For, bull, uh, for purple, we need blue and red. For green, we needed yellow and blue. And then last but not least, it's going to want orange as well, which is going to be a nice mixture of red and yellow. If you've ever, uh, you know, played with magic markers or any of that kind of stuff, you probably got this all figured out and it's probably pretty easy for you. But just in case, uh, we got it. After all three of those lights have been lit up and all the colors have been matched or mixed, I guess, uh, we go ahead and grab that mini kit and we are out of here. Now we just got to use the grapple plug to get back over, fix the final fan, and then it'll boost us up to that ledge where we can take the door into the next side. So, all right, now we're back into a weird kind of uh, industrial area here. We've got uh, a grapple point and we've got a target up top. We're going to go ahead and use four Lom to grapple up there and shoot the target. Now we kind of cheated and we shot the target on the other side as well, which actually starts this big old bucket moving around. So we can jump in that and safely make it to the other side or we can take a risk like we just did with Jar Jar and get across there as well. And now we can go ahead and try to jump onto that big old, I guess it's like a cauldron or I don't know what we really want to call it, but uh, my aim was not so good so I missed it. We could go ahead and find another way up here too. There's actually a way to double jump with Jar Jar and it takes us right to a mini kit. So that works out just as well for us. Right down the pathway, we find ourselves a droid cut looking the other way. So we pull the old sneak attack and a couple more battle droids are trying to thwart our plans from getting in this door, but we're gonna go ahead and give them the old cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. 
Now, of course, we've got this little uh, terminal here. We got to get our robot beep boop ba boop boop on. We got that open, and we are in here. Now, this one's a little tricky. You can get really quick here, and if you do, you might fall off. I think I fall off a couple of times. And once you do, you start all over at the beginning from where the last point of safety was. Even though you might feel safe on these checkerboard moving pathways, we actually are only safe on the end. So uh, get all the way to the end and find yourself mini kit number six of ten. <laughs> We've also got Thumby Quick Links down below if you're in a hurry. And of course, we just hit that 55k stud requirement. So we've got that true Jedi as well. All right. Keep it on with the keep it on. We've got a bunch of these moving cauldrons again. We're going to go ahead and double jump out onto one and then actually onto the next platform behind it. We're going to need a grappler after that to get across the next. I think you probably use one of the bots to float across and maybe even a double jumper Jar Jar would get her done too. Take out all of those weird, I guess they're like batteries or something. Uh, give us a bunch of studs and reveal a robot terminal. Inside, we're going to go ahead and take the high road or the, the back road. And it's going to take us to a grapple point, which will grapple us right up to a ledge where a mini kit was sitting. There's a good chance you grab that one in story because it was also available there. But uh, yes, you guessed it. Keep rolling right along. We're going to go ahead and open yet another door with another droid. And inside we've got, wait a minute, outside. What? That was a little bit of a, a game changer. Ho, 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 ho. See what I, see what I did there? Uh, all right, inside we've got all these guys. I don't remember what they're called, but they're baddies, and we're Aradian, and we're going to keep on with the keeping on. And once we get to this spot here, we find uh, there's, like, this grate. We're going to go ahead and shoot that down and then use somebody with the force to go ahead and manipulate those pieces into two platforms. Now, there's still a whole bunch of bad guys coming in. We're going to take them out and uh, have a little bit of a brain fart. I know what those guys are called, but I can't remember them for some reason, so... I'll remember in the next video, and it won't matter then. All right, after you've manipulated those platforms up to the wall, go ahead and switch to somebody with a high double jump like Jar Jar. And then, oh, hi, Manny Cat. <laughs> okay. Inside, there, there's actually a door. So we shot that grate, and there's actually a doorway there that gets left behind. Go ahead and sneak in there and switch on over to somebody like R2 or R4. And you're going to roll around, and you've got, I think there are five of these terminals that you have to hack. So we've got one down. Let's count them. We got one down. We're hitting up two. As you can see, we're picking up lots of studs along the way, too. Basically, every time you use one of those terminals, it kind of turns off some force fields and turns on other ones. It kind of changes it, makes a new maze for us. It's amazing. I wasn't sure if that was the one or not, but essentially every time you open up an area, uh, it actually gives you access to the new terminal. So apparently, even though I feel like I already used that one, it was the one that needed to be done. And then we'll go ahead and drive to the other side. So that's three. Here comes four. And there it is. So four, it looks like. Grab that red brick, which happens to be the character stud. So now if we purchase that, every time we take out baddies, they will drop studs behind them. So pretty, pretty cool. All right. We're going to go ahead and move right along here. We've got a grapple plug right ahead of us. We'll go ahead and get up top. Take out yet another one of those weird kind of cream colored. I don't know what that was. It wasn't a grate. It wasn't a battery. It was just some sort of a object. We'll go ahead and manipulate the bricks it left behind into a platform, which we can then fly out with one of our droids. And of course, right on the other side, there is another terminal that will actually allow the bridge to come out for safe passage for anybody else. But our AI switched to a droid and flew across as well, so we don't need to do that. You could certainly do that. It might give you some studs as well. And hey, right around the corner from those guys. Don't go in that door just yet. Grab that mini kit before attacking this door with a robot. That's right. Beep boop, ba boop, beep boop. All right. I'm getting a little wacky today. Sorry about that. All right. Last but not least, we are in basically the final area here, and we're going to need the help of a droid one more time to go ahead and turn on these conveyor belts and actually remove some of the junk from, I guess, the junkyard. Once we get the left side rolling, it actually gives us two different pieces that we can build up. Build them both up and then stack them on top of each other here. Actually, no, that's not true. One of them is a terminal for a, a, a Jedi mind tricker to use. So, yeah, once that's up, jump up there with Jar Jar. The AI should take you all the way to the top. Jump, jump. Got it. All right, last but not least, we got to save old Obi-Wan. Wait, wait a minute. We are, we are Obi-Wan. What's going on here? All right, a little bit of a snafu here, as you can see. The character we're using in game is actually being saved in game, so it's kind of funny. But uh, we'll go ahead and take out the droid cousin, all the other battle droids around, and then of course collect all the studs on the ground. And last but not least, we'll use the Jedi powers on four. Uh, that's right, four of these weird kind of like tractor beams. 
Look at that. We have officially finished the level. Character studs unlock, lock, 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 lock. We also got that true Jedi stud requirement of 55k. And let's see here. We're going to get paid. Not only from the 55k. Well, we got 65, but we're also going to get a bunch from the mini kit payout, too. So, as you guessed, we got all 10 of those mini kits. And let's see, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Ooh, is it a droidka? It is a droidka. That's kind of cool. Uh, if you had all those pieces, you could actually build one of those out of your spare Lego parts. And, of course, cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. We'll take it. Thank you very much. We got that true Jedi as well as the mini kit gold bricks. And, hey, don't forget to click that like button. It helps us out here, but also on Facebook as we do have a weekly giveaway. And you owe it to yourself to be part of that. So, hey, that is going to wrap it up for LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga Episode 2, Chapter 3, The Droid Factory Free Play. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you click our social media links down below. And, of course, if you have not been there, check out HappyThumbsGaming.com, which currently is getting a revision so be looking for a new version as always until next time soyo <laughs>